All right, so before I get into me going to jail, everyone please freaking like this video because this is literally the stupidest thing I've ever done and the craziest video I've probably ever made. So I would greatly appreciate it if you could drop a like right now. Like if you never liked a video of mine before, this is the time to freaking like the video. So you better be taking your finger and pressing that like button because I'm in trouble with the law, okay? And that deserves a like. I'm pretty sure. All right, so where do I begin? Oh man, this is a good time. <laughs> this is a good time. All right, so a couple videos ago, I said if it got 10,000 likes, I would do the 24 hour challenge. You guys know what the freaking 24 hour challenge is. You gotta stay in a place the entire night, 24 hours, you can't leave. Some people do it in Walmart, some people do it in stores, they hide in like the stuff. And if you get caught, you're gonna get arrested, okay? Because it's freaking illegal. So I thought, hey, why not do it on the world's most popular snowboarding mountain? And I'm gonna let you guys guess. Do you think it was a good idea to do it? <laughs> no, it's not a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the very beginning of the story. Me and a couple of my friends set out to do this 24-hour challenge where we were gonna stay on the freaking mountain all night. So we took a bus up to the village, okay? The village is like right below the mountain. So it looks over up, like up the mountain. So there's the village and then a freaking huge mountain where everybody like snowboards and stuff. Like it's really, really popular. So we bust up there about like 9.30 p.m. or something and we started to climb up the mountain around 10, okay? We had to climb, I'm not even exaggerating, for about two hours before we got like a safe distance away from the village so like nobody could find us. Like I thought nobody could find us. Now I have a little bit of footage from my GoPro throughout this story. My main camera, like this camera that I'm using right now, the security guy who made us come down from the mountain, like it didn't work out obviously, as you can tell by the title of why I'm going to jail. It didn't freaking work out, okay? So the security guard took my SD card from this camera and confiscated it, but I still have my GoPro footage, so thank God for that. Otherwise I would've been so pissed, dude. So after about three hours of hiking, we made it to a safe distance, like above like BMX ramps, like huge BMX ramps. We were like sitting on top of these ramps, like looking out over the village. Like it was absolutely insane view. Like it was crazy. All right, so we hiked up this hill up here. It's been a good night so far. The adventures have only just begun. We are literally on a bike, a mountain bike trail right now. There's a lot jump. of dirt in our shoes. We are on a mountain bike jump. Yeah. Look at that view down there. I don't know why I did this, but I actually ended up rolling down like a 50 foot like BMX ramp. Like I thought it was a fun idea. I don't know why I thought it was a fun idea. I like seriously injured my side. Like it hurts so freaking much. So leave a like for that because pain, right? I'm just kidding. I just want likes. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I rolled down this huge BMX ramp and at the bottom of it, I rolled over like a, a piece of plywood like this thick and like super long and like about this thick like high and I rolled over it like and I was going pretty fast like I'd say like I don't know how fast I was exactly going but this was like a huge downhill ramp and at the end of it I rolled over a piece of wood so that did not feel very good let me tell you I'm about to roll down this mountain here we go go flat go flat <laughs> what the dude that looks so funny dude you rolled over two by four that's a two by four I'm pretty sure I have multiple on my body. <laughs> So we continued to hike around for a good like three hours and it was like two in the morning at this point Okay, and it's like it's pretty freaking scary to be up on top of a mountain in the woods at like two in the morning Like you never know when a grizzly bear is just gonna jump out and eat your friends Okay, you gotta run faster than that slow friend because if you're gonna he I gotta get I gotta run faster man Because if my friend's gonna get eaten I gotta use that time while he's getting eaten to run away I'm kidding. No, like no, I wouldn't leave my friends behind. Yeah, yeah, I would no I wouldn't do that but like no bears attacked us but you know it's pretty freaking scary to be up in the middle of nowhere like at two in the morning like you don't know what kind of like forest beasts are up there like waiting to kill you so at about 3 30 in the morning i was actually getting a little bit tired so me and my friends actually took a nap in the freaking woods okay like we just set up next to a tree and we just laid down and we napped for about like 30 minutes to 45 minutes i could not fall asleep man like i sort of rested my eyes but like you can't fall asleep when you're in the middle of the woods knowing that something can jump out and kill you at any second. Like, it's just not a good feeling, okay? This was not a good time. Overall, I absolutely hated this experience, okay? But it was, honestly, I'm glad it's over with now, but it was horrible in the moment. So after like living like a homeless man in the woods, we decide to wake up and like on like ski mountains, you know how there's like chairlifts, like 50 foot chairlifts, like, to take you up the mountain. I'll show a picture on the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. But these like take you up the mountain, okay? Like to get you to the top because you can't just walk up because that would take forever. Anyways, we decided, me and one of my other friends decided it was a good idea to climb a 50 foot chairlift. That's a 
horrible freaking idea. That is literally the stupidest thing you could ever do in your entire life, and we did it. Climbing up the chairlift right now. What an absolute savage. All right, so we decided that it was a good idea to climb a chairlift. That's a good idea. I heard that one time. We're about, we're about 30 feet so in the air So we're about right 30 now. feet in the air, so if we drop, we die. Uh, we're looking out over the uh, Whistler view. It's pretty stupid. So yeah, as cool as we thought we were, and we thought we were gonna make it through the night at this point, there's like, we're no way we're gonna mess up the 24 hours. It turns out that there's cameras on the chairlift. So some dude was just watching us climb a chairlift. That's freaking awesome. I'm stupid, clearly. I didn't know, I didn't check for cameras. I don't know why I didn't check for cameras. I clearly did not pass kindergarten, okay? Because I don't, I don't even know how that happened. Shortly after getting down from the chairlifts, a little car came up filled with security guards and they took us back down and they were not freaking happy, okay? I mean, we climbed a chairlift. We could have died. Like, honestly, like our lives were at danger. So we were taken back down to the village and they literally gave me the option. They're like, you can pay a $350 ticket or you can go to jail. So obviously I picked the $350 ticket. I'm not about to go to prison, okay? For climbing a chairlift and doing a YouTube challenge. Oh my God, this was, it was just not, it was not a good night. So yeah, I didn't make it 24 hours on the mountain, but um, after I grabbed a McFlurry, McDonald's was still open at 4.30 in the morning. So we decided to go to McDonald's and they actually had security follow us and like watch us in McDonald's to make sure we didn't do anything stupid again. And like the security guy that like watched us was super chill, man. I got him in my vlog. Like here's a clip of that. Yo, say what's up to my vlog. So shout out to that security guard. That dude was the absolute homie. Like he freaking bought me like a medium fries. Like how cool can you be as a security guard to buy your prisoner medium fries? That dude is the man. This was honestly the scariest moment of my life. So seriously, I'm not even joking. Everyone freaking leave a like on this video, okay? I want to see freaking 10,000 likes in this video. I put my life on the line, guys. <laughs> Freaking smash that like button. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you do want me to attempt the 24 hour challenge again, if this somehow breaks 20,000 likes, I will try it again. I'll probably cry in the process, but I will try it again. Also, if you made it to the end of this video, I've been taking a ton of Instagram photos lately. Like, my Instagram game has been off the charts. So please follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be following back everyone who follows me in the next half an hour. And I'm going to keep following people throughout the next week. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's going to be in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been your boy Bang Jam. Peace out. All right, now I got these eye drops so I can make it look like I'm crying in the thumbnail for views. <laughs> Let's go.